In this video, I'm gonna give you seven tips on how to find the cheapest flights on Google Flights. Honestly, I wish I knew this sooner because I would've traveled a lot more. But let's get started with the first tip where they actually give you back money when you buy flights. I know it sounds weird, but all right, let me get into it. So for the first tip is something brand new Google Flights just came out with and it's called Google New Price Guarantee. What is that? Okay, so here we are on Google Flight and I've put the flight from New York to Fort Lauderdale with random dates and it gives you these options. So as you can see here, we have three options, but only one of them has this little shield from Google. And if you click on it, it's a price guarantee, meaning Google watches a price after you book. You get the difference back if the price drops. So this is what I was telling you. So if you buy this flight, that costs 184 and in a future date that price drops so Google will actually return that money back to you this is very helpful when you buy tickets way in advance because nine times out of ten those prices will actually drop so it's very important when you're booking these Google price guarantee flights is that you want to make sure that you're only purchasing the flights that have that price guarantee logo right next to it okay so for the second tip it's one of my favorite tools on google flights but let's just put this scenario let's say you want to travel but you don't know where you want to travel so to get a lot of ideas you want to use the explore tab on google flights let me show you okay so here we are again on google flights what we're going to go is go to the explore tab on the top left corner and then put the city from where you want to take off so in this case we're going to just going to use new york and then from there, what you want to do is if you have a flexible schedule, let's just put flexible dates here and then you can choose what time of year you want to go and for how long. So let's just put the entire year and let's just go for a quick weekend. So then it's going to give you all these options. And then from here, you can see all the possible scenarios from where you can go. You can go to Barcelona for 78. You can go to Rio de Janeiro for 554. Um, you can go to Maui for 431. So you have a lot of options. So the way you want to actually use this to advantage is let's say you have a budget of $200. You actually go here to the filter and you bring that price all the way down to the $200 mark. And then it's going to give you all the options of where you can fly in under $200. I mean, for the most part, you're going to be traveling in the United States because $200 doesn't go that far. But if you actually come down here to the cent the Caribbean side, you actually do have a few options like the US Virgin Islands, El Salvador for 165. So you do still have a few options. All right, so let's go back to that main scenario where I told you about the New York to Fort Lauderdale flight that we used in the previous one. Now we actually have only $87. So you're already saving $100 using the Explore tab feature. Before I get to tip number three, if you found the first two tips very helpful, then definitely subscribe to my channel because I give a whole bunch of tips and tricks on how to save money when traveling. And not only that, obviously I travel a lot. So if you like travel videos, vlogs, get ready with me, then definitely subscribe to my channel because already next week I'm gonna go to Orlando and I'm gonna go to Disney, I have a friend's wedding, I have a whole bunch of things planned for Orlando, so definitely subscribe. And with that, let's get on with tip number three, which is always book with the airlines directly. Okay, so this one's actually pretty straightforward but very important. So let's get back to Google Flights. So here we are on the Explore tab. Uh, what I already did was looked at a different flight. Here we have Newark to Monterrey. And every flight that you search for, at the bottom of every flight, you're gonna find booking options. And there, they're gonna give you options to where you can book. You can book with Air Mexico, you can book with Adam Vacations, Crystal Travel, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I will always, always, always recommend booking with the airlines directly. So for in this case, book with Aeromexico. There are so many reasons you wanna book with airlines directly. First and foremost, if you already have a free account with that airline, then you can start accumulating points. Not only that, any changes, you can already deal with the airline directly. You don't have to go through a travel agency. Also another important thing is that when you book with these airlines, the airlines in the United States, you can always cancel your flight up until 24 hours after you have booked. So it's very important that you always book your flight with the airline directly, not these other travel agencies. All right, tip number four is use layovers to your advantage. What do I mean by that? All right, let me show you. Okay, so sometimes you're gonna run across flights like this on the Explore page where let's say for instance, you're going to Washington DC to Sao Paulo right and the only cheapest flight that you're gonna find is this for 592 there's nothing cheaper than that the problem is it takes 30 hours but here's where you can use it to your advantage so this flight leaves from Baltimore at 3 p.m. and you get to Panama at 8.20. You're there for 18 whole hours and then you, your next flight is at 3 p.m. to get to Sao Paulo, Brazil at 12 a.m. So this is typically not ideal, 
but you can use this to your advantage because in Panama, I don't know if you guys have been to Panama, but you, it's right next to the beach. So you can leave the airport, get a hotel, and then when you wake up, you can wake up right on the beach. So you're already having a vacation in your vacation. Tip number five, book using your major city airport code. What does that mean? All right, let me show you. So right now on Google Flights, I have IAD, which is Washington Dulles International Airport, which is the closest airport to me, and I wanna to go to Fort Lauderdale. Right now, we're looking at flights at 346, but if you put the Washington area airport code, which is just simple for WAS, which is right here, you're actually gonna get results from the three different airports in that city. So what, what are those three airports? We have Ronald Reagan, we have Dulles, which is the one that's closest to me, and we have we have VWI, which is in Baltimore. Sometimes you can find cheaper flights leaving from airports that might be a little bit farther away. So in this case, you can already tell that leaving from VWI to the same airport, you're paying $208. So we're already saving money there. And then the same thing we can do for, for New York. So instead of putting like JFK to Fort Lauderdale, which is 273, what we can do we can do is put NYC, and then there you're gonna include the airports of John F. Kennedy, JFK, LaGuardia, and Newark. So let's put NYC, and then there, look at that, you're gonna find cheaper flights. So that same, uh, that same flight to go to Fort Lauderdale, now it's 158 leaving from LaGuardia. This is how you can find cheaper flights using these major city airport codes. Tip number six is track prices. Okay, so think about this scenario. You're flying from Washington to Fort Lauderdale and the price is about 200. The flight's not until two or three months from now. What you can do is, and let me show you, so you're here on Google Flights, what you can do is you have a price but instead of being here all day, what you can do is you can just click this little icon right here and what will happen is it will find the best flights and then you'll get notified automatically if that flight changes. And then from there, once you get the notification, obviously you can quickly go on and book that flight. And I'm very glad that Google Flights is able to provide this very simple yet very effective tool to finding cheap flights. So finally, tip number seven, which is one of the most important ones, is beware of separate tickets booked together. Now, what do I mean by that? All right, let me show you. So right now you have the flight from Orlando to Monterrey, Mexico. So here we have the cheapest option for 294. Now, but on that option, you're gonna see separate tickets booked together. Now, let me show you what that means. So right here you have, you're leaving from Orlando and then you're gonna go to Cancun. You're gonna switch your, your airline company and now you're gonna fly with Volaris to Cancun to Monterrey. And this one trip, you're gonna take Frontier, on the layover, you're gonna switch companies and fly with Volaris. The reason why I say beware of this is because there are two different airlines. If for whatever reason, the first leg, in this case, the leg from um, Orlando to Cancun, becomes delayed, you lose your bags, the second company or the second leg, in this case, Volaris, it's not responsible for anything that happens to you beforehand because if you think about it, it the only thing that shows up is that you're flying from cancun to monterrey it has no record of you flying from orlando for wherever you're coming from to cancun so i just would say be careful of booking these types of flights where it's two separate companies but anyways i hope you guys have found this video very helpful and if there's any question you guys have please let me know in the comments below like and subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next one peace